Hello everyone. So I welcome you all to another video of our lecture series where we are going to look at a very interesting yeah. and a little bit difficult problem. So the problem uh, statement is reverse the linked list in groups of given sizes. So first of all, let's try and read the description of the problem. So it's uh, given a linked list of size n. The task is to reverse every k nodes. Let k be an input to the function. On the linked list, the number of nodes is not in multiple. A scale then left on nodes in the end should be considered as a group and must be closed. Okay. So let's look at this example. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's try and write this. It's one, two, two, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we have to reverse it in a group, and the group in size is given by four. That means first four elements should be reversed. So it will be four, two, two, one. Then another four elements should be reversed. That is eight, seven. Right. All right. This will be four four elements. Seconds, uh, four elements, and these are rows. All right. So this is like basically what we have to do in the question. Also, now let's try and. See the other example. The one, two, three, four, five. K is three. One, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now we first uh, K is given as three, so we'll reverse these three first. So it will be three, two, one. Now there are only two elements and k is three. So read this line of the question. Why the number of nodes is not a multiple of k? Then left out nodes in the end should be considered as a group. So we will consider this as a group and we reverse it. All right. So yeah. So basically this is. Uh, what we have to do here? Alright. Okay, let's go. Now you may pause the video and uh, think of solution. Like how can you do this question? I know it's a bit tough to think, but try thinking it. You may like if you get a little bit. Of idea, like how to do it, and if you you see the video, then you will have a better clarity to how to solve this thing. Okay. So, okay, let's uh, let's start our part. How we are going to do it? Okay. So let's have an intermediate position. Suppose we have reverse the length list with him. See. Two, one. All right, and uh, here we have four, five, six. All right. Okay. Um. Uh, now this has been reversed, right? And we have to reverse this part. All right. So okay, we we'll, um, reverse this thing. We are going to reverse this thing. If you know the basic algorithm of reversing, we we'll talk it. We talked about in the previous video. So we simply reverse using that part. All 
Okay. Like this. Now this thing is what previous. Uh, I am talking about the notations which we use in the <coughs> previous one. Previous video. This is going to be previous. And uh, we have three, two, and one. Okay. Now basically, what I suppose there is one more. Part. So what are the things? Uh, what are the variables which are required? <coughs> we need uh, this thing. Right. So that we can link it to here. So this is what previous first. Let's have previous first. And after that, we'll require this element. So suppose we have another set here. We'll change the previous first to here. So we will name it first. All right. So we require a first, we require a previous, we require a previous first. Okay. And one more thing. We we having an edge case here. Suppose if we have to reverse the first group. So suppose yeah, we reverse the first group. Okay. And uh, so we won't be having any previous first here. So there is no point changing that. Alright, and also the head is going to change since we return head. So our new head would be previous. We'll do this only if we are at the first pass. Alright. So yeah, these are all the things which you require to do in the question. Let's try and code it so that we can have a good understanding. Let's have our notes. Okay. I have been a curl node which is going to traverse head. Okay. I have to have a previous first node which is going to be null at in the beginning. Alright. B is first pass. I'm going to check the condition if the pass is first. So we'll uh, change the head to previous and we'll just change the blue to we'll change this fast pass its first pass to false. Alright. We'll see what we're going to do. And we'll have a counter to the video. We'll have a counter that a number is less than like this count is less than two one. This Basic about the model version of that, right? So, don't about it. So, now we have first next to here. Next here is going to be first. And first is equal to next. And this is going to increase the count. Alright. Very good. Now, 
since you reverse your grow, we check if it is the first grow, if it, it is the first pass. Here is first pass. What are we going to do here is we need to change our head to rev. Alright. And we are going to uh, mark it as false. Otherwise, what we are going to do is we are going to change print first next to print and print first in the comma first one. Let's run this code. Let's see if it works. Okay. Um, we didn't mention the counter. My bad. Yeah. Yes, we are getting the expected output. My output matches the expected output. So let's run for the school. Yeah, two uh, four years. That is nice. So yeah, I hope you learned how to reverse the link layers in a group of your side arm. It is one of the important questions asked in many companies. So it is a very important question. Okay. And you also used the your learning of the previous video of reversing a link list. Please just reverse your group simply and then how to connect it. We talked about that. Okay. So I hope everything is clear to you and in the next video we are going to look at a few more problems and yeah that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you later.